Hello everyone, this is Tom and we are here at a local bowling alley in my area known as Dick Hoover Lanes and it was just announced recently they were going to be closing and so we contacted the people who run it and they've given us full clearance to go ahead and walk around and do a video so let's check it out.
Well, I can tell you we took it over in 1968. All right. And believe me, it was not easy. <laughs> we both had to work a lot. I can imagine. And actually, I built the leagues up. We really? Maximum. When when bowling was in its heyday, right? Uh, the lanes the lanes were full every night. Really? You couldn't get a team in. You might be able to get a person in. I th- like I say, those were the good old days. Not yeah. so much anymore. Yeah, I know. And, uh, I don't know. I can't think. What else? What else? Ask me the question. Um. Well, I suppose a good one would be, you know, what are some of your favorite memories of the bowling alley? I guess if you want to share any of them. I don't really think I have any favorite memories. I just, we had so much fun, actually, with all the people. People were yeah. so much different years ago. Everybody was nice. Right. And, and now, you know, it was always nice to see somebody roll a 300, which happened quite yeah. often. That gentleman right there has had a few. Oh, wow. And, um, I don't know. It's just fun. The camaraderie with right. the people was just a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot. And then I know you guys have had a lot of involvement with the community of Brunswick and all that. What what were some of maybe your favorite things to help with? I know you guys have helped the schools run some things here and everything, too. Right. We've had schools, junior bowler. Or, right. That, Family bowling remember. night. I'm sorry? Family bowling, and then there was the thing right. with the we middle schools. Right, we doubles yeah. on Saturday nights at like 11 o'clock. We, that was a lot of fun, too. Right. But no, we've had a lot. The schools have come over, and we've, we've had a lot of the um, special needs kids right. come in to bowl. They love it. Yeah. They love it. The one mother, Jennifer, talked oh, to me the other day, said, I don't even want to tell my son. Mm. Because they had to cancel their last couple of outings. I, I can and imagine. And he was so upset. Yeah. So that's going to be hard. I truly hope they find a place to bowl. Yeah, because I know, I mean, I think the schools have a bowling team, I think. They do. Now, yeah. they, now they won't. Right, unless they move to the lanes in Medina or something, right? right. Medina has their own team, though. So, so I right, so it would, count. yeah. And then I know the middle schools, right, they had kids walk over for interview. Yeah, we had... Uh, really? They didn't do that a couple years back. They didn't do it the one year. The one year, no, they didn't do it. That hurt us big time. <laughs> I can't imagine. I was really disappointed, yeah. I, I, I did, did it in... Did you come over this year when they came over? I'm in Are high school. in high school? I'm in high school now. Oh, that was I'm, middle school. Yeah, middle school. They, I did it in seventh grade, and I was like, oh, I'm going to do this again next year. Last time now, you came up here was what, for your summer school gym that you took, right? Yeah, the last time I came up here would have been back in just June. Okay. Because the summer school's, you know, gym, they would walk up here. Right, right. So it's really disappointing to see you guys going because... Believe it, it's very disappointing for all of us. It's yeah. Being here for 52 years. I know. For, it's on more than half my life. Exactly. And my, my, oh, yeah, we had lots of families. I mean, they'd start in junior league. Next thing yeah. you know, they're in regular adult yeah. bowling. It's like, oh my gosh. It and I'm just, I mean, we're really, you can, you see people come in. We've right. Been really close to our bowlers. Oh, I know, I, I can tell because, I mean, it seems almost as if you guys know half of the people I've seen come in and out while I'm all, here. <laughs> wow. I used to be able, I used to work the control counter. I could call any one of them by name. I knew everybody by name. My four boys would say, how do you do that? I, I practice. That's funny. Remembering their names. I, that's impressive, too. I mean, considering you could just, you'd see one person walk in, it's like, oh, hey. Yeah, I'm, What were some of their reactions to it when you'd call them out by name? I think people really appreciate that if you remember their name. That, that sticks, you know? It's like, yeah. oh, I'm really somebody important. Right. She remembered my name. Yeah. Exactly. I, mean, I prided myself on that. I, I will say that is Im- I I very impressed that you could do that. that. I can only imagine the look of shock when it probably happened the first time. It's just like. And I I used to work at the bar once in a while. And really. I didn't know people's names. I knew what they drank. <laughs> They'd come in and I'm like, going to seven seven. Oh, you remembered. <laughs> whatever it might be back then, seven, just, seven. just just walk in and you have the drink prepared. All right, well, that'll I didn't be. I do that because I got stuck one time doing that. So ah. I changed my mind. I don't want that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna ask first. <laughs> so, but no, this is a sad day. It really is. I can imagine. I mean, for someone who this has probably been almost your whole <laughs> life here. I was thirty years old when we took over. Wow. So I mean, you figure, you know, going all this time having it open i'm sure it's devastating for you to see it go i mean it's hard for me to get out but had the economy been better and bowling been better right i would have let the kids run it 
yeah. get out of it t- entirely. But yeah, because it's like Ben family run the whole 52 years. Exactly. Exactly. It's been Dick Hoover, so it's crazy to see it going. Um, I don't really think I have anything else to ask. I'd like to thank you for, you know, answering some of the questions. I'd like to thank you and everyone, actually, for letting me come in and film them. Thank you so much for yeah, joining Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very glad to preserve the history. Good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. They just told me I could have the measure boards. We're taking them. <laughs>